Welcome to Techman Academy. I'm Adan Sakib and this is the first video in our introduction to ServiceNow module series. Today we're going to be diving into IT Service Management or ITSM for short. Whether you're new to ServiceNow or just getting started with ITSM, we'll be breaking down the essentials in such a way that it'll be easy for you to understand. By the end you'll have a clear grasp of why ITSM is so important, what its key components are, and how you can start learning this crucial module. ITSM refers to a set of processes and practices that organizations use to design, deliver, manage and improve the way IT services are being used by employers and customers alike. It's all about aligning IT services with the needs of the business, ensuring that everything from fixing a broken printer to deploying a new applications happens effectively. Now, if you're just like me, that explanation was a little too boring for you. So, here's a better analogy. Imagine a busy city with many roads, traffic lights, and public services that keep everything running smoothly. Now, imagine that city as a company's IT environment. Just like city planners and maintenance crews ensure that the roads are clear and services are running smoothly, ITSM acts as a city planner for your IT services. ITSM helps companies design, manage, and maintain their IT infrastructure from handling traffic as data flow to fixing potholes or in resolving incidents and even building new roads or implementing changes. Now let's address why ITSM is so important for organizations. Some of the reasons are that it helps improve quality of service reduces downtime and minimizes disruptions. Thirdly, enhances co uh, compliance and risk management. ITSM enhances service quality by creating a consistent process for managing and uh, resolving IT issues. This approach ensures that problems are handled quickly and effectively, leading to more reliable IT services. For instance, let's take a tech company that uses ITSM to manage its internal support tickets, hence resolving employee issues swiftly and keeping their productivity high. This efficient handling of IT problems help, ma help maintain a smooth and dependable experience for everyone involved in the organization. Other than that, ITSM helps reduce downtime and disruptions by proactively managing IT issues and minimizing their impact with well-defined processes for incident and problem management, IT teams can quickly identify and address issues before they end up escalating. For example, an e-commerce company uses ITSM to monitor its website and backend systems, catching potential problems early and preventing major outages on their store. This proactive approach ensures that operations are running smoothly, hence avoiding costly interruptions. Thirdly, ITSM also enhances compliance and risk management by implementing structured processes that ensures adherence to regulations and mitigate risks. For instance, let's take a healthcare provider like a hospital that uses ITSM to manage its digital, digital record system. By adhering to strict change management and data security protocols, the hospital ensures compliance with healthcare regulatory standards and minimizes the risk of data breaches, hence keeping its patient's record safe. ITSM is built around key modules that help manage and deliver IT services efficiently. For starters, here are five main modules, incident management, problem management, change management, service request management and knowledge management. For each of them it focuses on a specific area of IT service delivery and together they ensure that IT operations are running smoothly. Firstly, let's look into incident management. The purpose of incident management is to restore unplanned disruptions back to normal service operations as quickly as humanly possible. For how incident management works, uh, incident management processes guide IT teams to log, characterize, prioritize, 
and resolve issues in an efficient way. For a real-time example of incident management, let's say an airline's booking website suddenly goes down, causing customers to not be able to book or check in for their flights. The incident management team quickly identifies the issue that there is a server failure. Then they reroute traffic to backup servers and restore the website's functionality as fast as possible. Hence, minimizing disruptions and ensuring travelers and ensuring that travelers can continue with their plans. Now for problem management. The purpose of problem management is to identify the root cause of recurring incidents and prevent them from happening again and again. For how it works, in case of a frequent operational disruption, problem management finds the underlying cause and implements measures to prevent the recurrence. For a real-time example of problem management, let's take an office building which experiences frequent Wi-Fi drops affecting their productivity. The problem management team investigates and discovers that the issue is caused by interference with outdated wireless access points. They replace the old access points with newer models, hence optimizing the internet configuration. This solution eliminates the Wi-Fi disruptions, leading to a stable and reliable internet connection throughout the office hence solving a recurring problem through problem management. Thirdly, let's take change management. The purpose of change management is to control the life cycle of a change which enables beneficial changes to be implemented within an organization with the least amount of disruption. Before implementing any change, such as a software upgrade, it ensures that change, that change is thoroughly reviewed, analyzed, approved to avoid any unintended consequences. For example, let's take a large corporation that plans to upgrade its network infrastructure to improve speed and security. The change management team creates a detailed rollout plan, conducts in extensive testing, schedules the upgrade during low traffic period then communicates with all relevant stakeholders. Hence, change management ensures that the upgrade is completed smoothly with minimal impact on daily operations. Fourthly, let's see service request management. The purpose of service request management is to handle all service requests from users such as requests for new software, access rights, or new equipment. For how it works, when an employee needs a new software installed, they submit a, re a service request. The service request management processes ensure that the request is locked, approved, and fulfilled efficiently. For a real-time example, we can take a university's IT department. They receive hundreds of requests from faculty and students ranging from setting up a new device to accessing specialized software for research. The service request management system organizes these requests, prioritizes them based on urgency, and ensures that they are fulfilled effectively. Lastly, let's look into knowledge management. The function of knowledge management is to create, share, and manage knowledge within the organization, helping to improve decision making and efficiency. For how it works, IT teams document solutions to problems in knowledge base, making it easy for other team members to find and apply these solutions in the future. An example can be a tech company creates a troubleshooting database where common IT issues and their solutions are documented. When an employee encounters a problem with their software, they consult the database quickly finding a step-by-step -step solution to resolving uh, the issue without needing to contact IT help desk. Now, after getting a hang of what IT service management actually is, here's how you can get started on learning ITSM. First, learn about the core concepts of ITSM, like its various modules, etc. Then, having an understanding of the key technical terminologies is very important as well. 
Some of the places you can learn these things are Firstly, ServiceNow is now a learning platform which provides different training courses for all the different modules. Then there is also ServiceNow's official documentation. It is a collection of useful and important information like step-by-step -step guides for common tasks and queries. Now probably the most important step in learning ITSM is actually implementing what you learned. For that, you can get a free ServiceNow developer instance to practice working on ITSM. And another invaluable resource provided by ServiceNow is the ServiceNow community. It's a place where you can post your questions, interact and get help from other ServiceNow developers. Apart from that, TechMan Academy also provides various extensive training courses on all ServiceNow modules. We also have a vast collection of books and different knowledge guides. Also, we have evaluation tests and certifications for all major ServiceNow modules, which you can access at the official website of TechMan Academy. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and keep following along with TechMan courses.